All right, thank you, Brian. We're all feeling the pinch of inflation with costs being driven up whenever we get groceries or other necessities, but it's also hitting city governments hard as well. The city of Springfield says they're seeing a significant increase in prices for materials for everyday operations. Two News reporter Caroline Morse is digging deeper into what's driving the increases and how it's impacting operations in Springfield. The current inflation is causing prices to continue to rise and the city of Springfield says they're feeling the pain of inflation across many departments. Necessary materials the city of Springfield must purchase have risen, in some cases more than 150 percent. The city says they are having to absorb those costs. In a statement, Springfield City Finance Director says, quote, inflation has a long-term impact, so we are being prudent in the decisions we make now with an eye on the future. According to the city, substantial increases include liquid chlorine for the water treatment plant rose from $700 to over $1,700. Sodium hypochlorite used for the wastewater treatment plant experienced a 159% increase. And unleaded gasoline rose by most 50%, which Springfield residents say is impacting how families operate. Outside of the city of Springfield, between the city edge and Yellow Springs, you drive to Springfield to get your groceries. As inflation continues to increase prices of products across the board, Hayi says families are feeling the pain at their dinner tables too. You can't have a household without groceries, and there is a sense of community that we get from our grocery stores. Currently, the city says that they have been able to manage the higher prices, and residents should not feel a reduction in services. In Springfield, I'm Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.